This is going to be a demonstration of how to play double stops um, or two strings at once. Sometimes it can be called lots of different things. Sometimes it's double stops. Um, sometimes it's called ringing strings or drones. Um, it's all generally sort of the same idea of playing two notes at once on the violin. Um, so the easiest way, the first thing is to be able to play two strings at once. Um, so if I play my A, I also want to play some of my D. So what I have to do is find the bow angle that's not D and not A, but the place that's right in between. Often when you get it, you when you get that, you can get it for just a short, a short amount of your bow. So start in that little bit of bow, and then gradually make it longer bows. Um, once you can do that on all the strings reliably, um, then it's time to practice going in between two strings, two string pairs. Um, and then once you can do that, time to start putting some fingers down, and that's where it really gets exciting. So um, we'll start by putting strings, uh, fingers down on the higher string. That tends to be a little bit easier for people. Um, so, the problem that people typically have when they're putting fingers down and trying to play on two strings at once is that one of their fingers will bump the drone string um, and you'll get this kind of noise. That sort of lovely, lovely effect. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is check to make sure you can put your fingers down without bumping. So we're kind of thinking about using the D and the A string for our, for our strings. And what we're going to do first is put your fingers down just on the A string. And for this moment, we're just going to play on the D string. We're not going to play the A string at all. So fingers on the A string, bow on the D string, and you're just going to move your fingers up and down you should hear nothing except D. If you're getting noises like this, then you know that your fingers are bumping into the D string and you better move them a little bit more. You can be on top of the E string as well as on the A string because you're not playing on the E string so it doesn't matter if you bump the E string. So you want to try that so you can do it on all strings and on the G string. And once you know that you can do that, um, then it's time to play both of the strings with your bow. And you can move your fingers in the same way. I'm just doing kind of what would be like the top half of a D scale or the bottom half of an A scale, just regular finger positions on the A string. And then now we'll play with the D string as well. that this is not necessarily um, <laughs> the prettiest interval. It's uh, a fairly dissonant. It's a major seventh. Um, but uh, major sevenths used, used in the right way are really great, can really sound great, especially if you then resolve to the, to the octave two Ds. So that's something it, you really tend to use a lot of in double stops, um, or at least I do. So, save on all the strings. Once you can do that, then it's time to experiment with playing some double stops in a tune. Um, a good one to ring or play drones on the string below. Um, one is Angela and the Baker. Or the Skyboat song. And really, the, 
rule of only rule of thumb for playing double stops is play them when you like how they sound. And if you don't like how it sounds, pick a different string. Um, at, at a certain point, you can start using two fingers down on different strings and get some chords, some additional chords that way. Um, but that's going to be a topic for another video. So um, once you once you can play some drones um, on lower strings below below the melody, um, it's maybe time to start thinking about using the strings that are on on the high side of the melody as well. Um, so to do that, let's this is can be a little trickier. Let's do that same thing we were doing to test for bumping because this is where bumping particularly becomes a problem. Um, and if we're playing um, on A and E this time, um, and we want to put our fingers down on the A string and ring the E string, this is quite common for tunes um, in the key of A, um, we really have to keep our fingers curved and use the tips. And again, you can bump into the D string, but you really need to make a little tunnel that the E string can safely pass through without getting bumped. So um, if you play just your bow on the E string and just your fingers on the A string, your goal is no change of sound. Again, if you bump, you get that. Or sometimes you get, you know, you actually end up playing the note on the E string. So test on all strings. Oh, I bumped. bumped again. What is this? <laughs> um, and when you can do that, then play on both strings like we did um, before. Um, and when you can comfortably do that, then think about a tune. Um, that you might play double stops on, or ring an open string above. Um, in this area, um, Bonnie Tammy is a pretty common tune that people learn early on. Um, you could also use Mary Had a Little Lamb or um, both, both of those tunes you can just play on A and E the entire time. Uh, so Bonnie Tammy. I'm just playing A and E the whole time. Sometimes the melody is on the A string and the E string is the drone. Sometimes the melody is on the E string and the A string is the drone. That way you're kind of practicing both above and below. Um, and the tricky part is often you're used to changing your bow when you change your fingers to a new string and you have to override that default setting. Um, right here, I don't want to change my bow to the E string. I want to leave it at the same center place. So you can experiment with that, and then just have fun putting drone strings into um, your tunes that you like, and they, um, and put put whatever notes in sound good. Um, if I tried to play Body Tammy and drone on the D string, it wouldn't sound as nice, in my opinion. And so I think, oh well, maybe I'll try E instead. Like that a lot better. Um, when I'm actually playing, um, I tend to uh, especially drone on beats that I want to emphasize. So, more about um, two fingers double stops later, but there you go.